Our topic today, cystitis. Welcome to International Academy, Germanische Heilkunde, by Dr. Rücke Gerd Hammer, MD. My name is John Hollidauer. At GHK Academy, I am responsible for representing the original seminar program, according to Dr. Hammer, in the English language. The bladder is internally lined with squamous mucosa, which is from the red group. This squamous mucosa belongs to the outer skin pattern and hurts in the vagotonic healing phase. For the left and the right bladder half, there are correspondingly two brain relays, which are in the territorial area. Besides the handedness, the hormonal status plays a significant role in the territory areas. Accordingly, we have the female and the male territorial marking conflict as a biological conflict content. One can imagine such a territory marking conflict like, for example, the dogs marking the territory. The male perceived conflict is about the outer territory, typically about boundary disputes with the neighbor where exactly is the fence to be thrown. The female perceived conflict is about the inner territory, that is the nest and the children. A typical female territory marking conflict is the conflict of determining the location, for example when the woman does not know to which man she belongs to, or with which man she should go build her nest. If she then knows this man I belong to, she will come into healing phase and have a blood infection. With the girl, the cause is often when she can't lock her bedroom and everyone goes in and out as they feel like. In the active phase, the squamous epithelium ulcerates, which does not hurt and is inconspicuous. The purpose always with squamous epithelium is ulcerative widening. Here, in particular, to better mark the territory with more urine. In the healing phase, the squamous epithelium is refilled with swelling inflammation and pain. With syndrome, that is, when water is retained at the same time, this swelling can become enormous and can also be diagnosed by conventional medicine as cancer of the urinary bladder. Attention, all cancers diagnosed by conventional medicine from the red group are always healing phase symptoms. The crisis, as always in squamous epithelium, is the absence, which is usually not noticed. With the crisis, the swelling goes down, and in the end of the healing phase, all is well again. If one gets into the hanging healing with this territorial marking conflict, the squamous epithelium will be built up and built up, similar to the wart in the outer skin, which in the blood finally leads to the so-called papillomas. Now, a great case study of chronic cystitis of a mother of many children. This very well illustrates the mechanism with the track, because as a mother with many children, the children is your full-time job. One son was supposed to do the homework, but the little daughter had to be taken to a birthday party. However, that somewhat shy girl does not want to stay so easily without her mother. The mother had to spend two hours talking to the girl, until she finally wanted to stay alone. In the back of her mind, however, the mother had her son's homework, which also had to be done. On the one hand, she had to stay with the little girl, and on the other hand, she was supposed to be at home with her son. The mother described this as a feeling of being torn. This was a female territorial marking conflict. She could not mark her children, biologically speaking. Arriving home with the son, he had already done the homework, and she came into healing with the bladder infection. From this event on, however, she kept triggering the track in similar situations, and from now on she reacted chronically with the bladder infection. She considered, after all, in the past she was also challenged by the children and was often supposed to be in different places at the same time, but she never used to react with the bladder. Why? Answer. In the past, this situation was not associated with a biological conflict. But since this conflictive event, she reacts allergically to such situations. She will probably only be able to solve this conflict when the children no longer take her up in such a way. 
This case study shows very nicely why one suddenly reacts allergically to something that does not bother you before. By the way, the tissue types, the biological conflict, the healing phase after conflict resolution, the crisis, the tracks, the different causes of conflict, etc. They are the same in all sensible biological special programs. So there is something like a common thread through Germanische Heilkunde. Once you have found this common thread, you can easily deduce many things and therefore you don't have to learn the diagnostic chart by heart. There's a system similar to physics. Have fun with your study moving forward and goodbye. Germanische Heilkunde is considered by those who have understood its underlying principles to be the most significant discovery in known human history. While conventional medicine is based on more than 5,000 hypotheses, Germanische Heilkunde can be proven at any time to be the only medicine that is scientifically verifiable. With Germanische Heilkunde, for the first time in recorded human history, there is a scientifically verifiable medicine for each patient case. More than 30 medical universities have already confirmed this in the past. Still, Dr. Hammer's discoveries have been suppressed and denigrated for over 40 years. Take your health into your own hands and learn Germanische Heilkunde while you are still healthy. For this purpose, the GHK International Academy offers you an extensive program of seminar tutorials from the basics through the organ level to the psychoses. This seminar program will change your relationship with your body and your health once and for all. You will find the direct link to the homepage of the GHK International Academy below the video.